Here's a topic most Christians won't touch. According to Zechariah Sitchin's translation of ancient Sumerian tablets, the Anunnaki played a direct role in human history, as recorded in the Bible, including the creation of humans and the rise and fall of ancient civilizations in Mesopotamia. The Anunnaki's involvement in human affairs is said to have begun before the great deluge or flood mentioned in the biblical story of Noah. They arrived on Earth approximately 445,000 BC and established their first settlement at Eridu, known as Earth Station 1, or the Edin. Initially, they sought gold in the waters of Mesopotamia, but later discovered larger deposits in the Abzu, believed to be located in the southern African kingdom of Great Zimbabwe. By 400,000 BC, a total of eight cities, with Nippur serving as the mission control center, had been completed. According to the Tablets of Creation, the Anunnaki created a primitive worker, Homo sapiens sapiens, by combining Homo erectus and Anunnaki DNA to fulfill their need for a labor force in gold mining. The transition from primitive to modern humans appeared to occur within approximately 40,000 years, a significantly shorter period compared to the gradual progression observed in previous hominid species. The reasons behind this rapid change remain unclear and lack a satisfactory environmental or other explanation. The Anunnaki's involvement with humans continued in the pre-flood cities, where humans served and assisted them. However, the Great Deluge around 12,000 BC led to the destruction of most of these cities and human settlements, marking the end of the olden times, as recorded in the Book of Genesis. After the flood, around 10,500 BC, the Anunnaki established a new spaceport control center on Mount Moriah in the Sinai Peninsula, which would later become the site of Jerusalem. The Mesopotamian and Nile Valley regions were divided between Anunnaki princes Enki and Enlil. To maintain contact with Nibiru, their home planet, a new landing site connected to the main control center was constructed in Egypt. Pyramid-like structures were built in Egypt to serve as beacons for guiding their spacecraft to the new landing site, given the absence of natural topography in the area. However, succession wars between the Anunnaki gods of Egypt, known as the Pyramid Wars, occurred, resulting in the establishment of kingship under Horus and the formation of the first human Egyptian dynasty under Menes after the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. Anu, the supreme god of the Anunnaki, informed them that the earth was to be inherited by humans, not the Anunnaki. Therefore, kingship was granted to selected earthlings in different regions to teach humans the knowledge, science, and arts of civilization. These regions included Mesopotamia under Enlil, the Nile Valley under Enki, the Indus Valley under the Enlilite goddess Inanna, and the neutral Sinai Peninsula spaceport for maintaining contact with Nibiru. Additionally, Ningishida, Thoth, was granted a region in Mesoamerica known as the realm of the plumed serpent Quetzalcoatl. These events are also mentioned in the Bible as the basis for the covenant between Yahweh and Abraham. According to the Sumerian records, Abraham was recruited by Anunnaki god Enlil to raise an army and defend the Sinai spaceport against Marduk's faction. Abraham's battles against the Elamites, as described in the book of Genesis, were actually in support of Enlil. After successfully defending the spaceport, Abraham was promised descendants and a child as a reward. Later, a decision was made to destroy the spaceport with nuclear weapons to prevent its takeover by Marduk's faction. This event is also recorded in the Bible as the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, the divine kingship of the Sumerian Anunnaki, ancient aliens on Earth. The city of Kish in Mesopotamia was the first to be awarded divine kingship around 3760 BC. Many significant wars throughout ancient and modern history are believed to have been influenced and directed by the Anunnaki's struggle for control of earthly divine kingship. For example, the Persian Wars, including the rise of the Amorites under Sargon of Akkad, were attributed to the influence of the Anunnaki. Sargon of Akkad credited Anunnaki goddess Inanna Ishtar for directly assisting and fighting in the wars that led to the formation of the Akkadian Empire. When Marduk claimed that the Age of the Ram had arrived, he initiated a campaign that destabilized the Mesopotamian region. He conquered Nippur, defiled Enlil's temple, and established his new temple in Babylon. The Enlilites responded by destroying the Sinai Peninsula spaceport with nuclear weapons, 
as described in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. 